I would like to start this video with a quick general notice. In some of the comments posted on my channel, people refer to my videos as having a bit too much music. And where there is music, it is a bit too loud. Well, I agree with those who wrote that. Sound is, I think, the most difficult part of video production, after white balance. As my videos from two years back are as yellow as Homer Simpson. Well, the music is not going to go, but I believe in being inclusive and want to accommodate those who, let's say, don't like sensory overload. So you will find that in the video description of this video is a link to a hidden version of this video without all the music. I'll be uploading some of my other videos without music too. Okay, let's start a video. With music, of course. Computer no battery is what the invoice says that came with this big box. I have to say that this computer no battery was very well packed. This came all the way from Japan and was sent to me via C-mail. So it took about three months to get here. I think they used a sort of pur foam which followed the shape of the computer very well. It's a bit heavy this computer, but let's unwrap it. So this is a sharp computer as you can see, a very grimy sharp computer. When we look at the bottom of the computer we can see that this also is also a computer with quite some rust. Screwing open the case we find a rust creepy screw and a very rusty computer on the inside. Let's put it on a desk and open the cover. You can feel that the plastic is very brittle. There's not a lot to see, but the cassette deck looks quite damaged by the rust, as does this transformer and this power supply circuit. The back looks fine. I believe that port allows you to connect a printer. Well, what type of computer is this? This is the Sharp MZ1200, released by Sharp in 1982. In Europe, this computer was released under the name MZ80A. When it comes to specs, this computer is a MZ80K, but with a more user-friendly keyboard and more VRAM. I picked up a Sharp MZ80K at the start of this year and showed it in a video. That one I still need to clean and troubleshoot. Well, you might be thinking, why did you buy this computer that is clearly in a bad condition? Well, I got this via a Japanese intermediary company. I like to click through their website from time to time to see if there's nice stuff to get. For the past couple weeks, every time I would see the listing with this computer. It had a buy it now price, which was going down every two weeks or so. And the computer was calling to me, buy me mails, buy me mails. The buyout price was also not too much. I couldn't call it cheap, but looking at the other listings of MZ1200s, it was okay. Of course, I saw in the pictures that there was some rust and that it will probably be a challenge to get this computer booty. But I don't just like to use old computers for their games or even better obsolete of a software. No, I think these old pieces of computer technology also have something that would, in my opinion, sort of rank them as art. Or something nice to look at. Something that becomes very clear when you take a look at the book by Tusken I showed a couple videos back. That also means that in the worst case I can clean up the case, stop the rust and maybe remove some useful parts and turn it into a nice display piece. So taking all that into account, I pressed the place bit button and was the proud new owner of this MZ1200. I think it's time to do a smoke test. I didn't make that intro for nothing. This comes from Japan, so it won't run on the 240 volts that comes from the outlets here in the Netherlands. No, I will need to use my step-down power transformer for this. I have this beefy one, which is probably up for the task. Let's plug it in. It works. I connected a US-style power cable to the transformer and turned on the power. Nothing happens on the computer side. Not a pop, nothing. Cassette deck, also dead, understandably. Flick the power switch a couple times. Nope, this is not going to work. 
that is not a surprise, I think. But while messing around with the MZ1200, I was thinking of ways to fix it. One could be to replace the power supply with a new one, preferably one that works on 240 volts. But I'm not sure if that will work with the CRT and other parts. Advice on that is very welcome. I have a modern replacement by Meanwell I want to install in another very famous British computer. Fixing the power supply issue would bring us to the CRT part. I'm not sure how damaged that is by the rust so we will have to investigate that too. I think that it will probably be possible to hook the motherboard up to a composite monitor. Also, I'm a bit hesitant in working around CRTs because of course they can be quite dangerous. Also, I fear the tape deck is going to be an issue. This computer has no basic built-in. You need to load it in by cassette tape, something I find quite tedious. I want to look into the MZ700 compatible modern day cassette deck replacements that are available on eBay to see if I can substitute it with one of those. Something very helpful though is the fact that I own an MZ80K. The first next step I want to take is to see if I can place the motherboard into that case and test it out. I will have to reference some documentation first though. I hope in case we manage to bring the motherboard to life that I can try the MZ80K cassette deck with it. Also of course I want to try to clean the case of this computer and clear away most of the rust. I found quite an effective and not very chemical rust remover that I can use for that. So there's hopefully a lot of interesting stuff ahead with this weird Japanese computer. Stuff I really need some advice for. I'm a retro amateur after all. A retro amateur that thanks you for watching. <laughs>